Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we are going to be previewing the Women's Olympic event, starting with Team Canada. Uh, so with Team Canada, obviously a very historic program, uh, most gold medals uh, in really just dominating competition. Uh, so we'll look back at previous Olympics. Uh, so 2010 in Vancouver, they did win the gold medal over the United States of America. Uh, same as in 2014 in Sochi, uh, beating the US. Uh, and in 2018, uh, the most recent one in Pyeongchang, uh, they did lose to the uh, Americans in the gold medal game, uh, gaining them silver. Um, so with that, we'll take a look at this year's current roster. Uh, to start off, we have Rebecca Johnson with four uh, Olympics, uh, Laura Stacey in her second Olympics, Sarah Fillier in her first Olympics, Jill Solnier uh, in her second Olympics, Melody Daou in her third Olympics, Brianne Jenner in her third Olympics, Sarah Nurse in her second Olympics, Natalie Spooner in her third Olympics, Emily Clark in her second Olympics, Emma Malte in her first Olympics, Captain Canada, Marie-Philippe Poulin in her fourth Olympics, uh, Blair Turnbull in her second Olympics, Jamie Lee Rattray in her first Olympics, uh, Joyce The Rock in her third Olympics, Renata Fast in her second Olympics, Ella Shelton in her first Olympics, Ashton Bell in her first Olympics, Erin Ambrose in her first Olympics, Mika Zandihart in her first Olympics, uh, Claire Thompson in her first Olympics, Anna Renee Desbien in her second Olympics, uh, Emma Ross Mesher Mayer uh, in her first Olympics, and Kristen Campbell in her first Olympics. So with this team, uh, once again another team that's going to be competing for the gold medal, and most likely we will get to the gold medal game, uh, disaster aside, and will most likely also play the Americans in that gold medal game. Uh, I will be very surprised if, if the team knocks them out, but with that being said, it's a nice thing about hockey. If it was a predetermined result, they wouldn't play it. Uh, but I am very excited to see how this team fares this year. I do think they have a very good shot and winning the uh, IIHF World Women's World Championships as well. Uh, I do think that they are in for quite the favorite role uh, this year especially. Uh, and I am looking very much looking forward to seeing how they fare up against the Americans uh, coming up on the February 7th, 11.10 uh, p.m. game. Uh, so speaking of the schedule, we're going to take a look at what they're going to play. So on February 2nd at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, they're going to play the Swiss. On February 4th, 11.10, uh, they're going to play the Finns. Uh, Russia is going to be getting played on February 6th at 11.10 p.m. Uh, the U.S. is going to be playing on the February 7th uh, at 11.10 as well. Uh, and then comes the quarter, uh, the quarterfinals, uh, February 10th to 12th. Uh, so depending on where they're seated, that's where they're going to play. Uh, they automatically do get into the quarterfinals uh, thanks to being in Group A, uh, as opposed to sort of the men's um, divisions where they get, you get ranked, um, sort of each division has their things, top three on each division will go through, uh, and then everyone else plays qualifying rounds. In the women's uh, event, all it is is everybody in Group A makes it off a of pre-seed, uh, and then Group B, top three teams, very similar to that of the Women's World Championship. Uh, sort of format, uh, and, and it is does make more sense because the best teams don't get knocked out at the start, um, but still it does create for some good competition and sort of the uh, yearly lock of Canada-US in an Olympic gold medal game, uh, always one to look forward to. Um, so with that, the quarterfinals February 10th to 12th, semifinals on the 13th and 14th, and then the bronze medal game February 16th at 6.30 a.m. So for those early birds on the East, uh, on the east Coast, got to wake up early. Uh, and the gold medal game, uh, which I do hope Canada does play in this year, February 16th at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so with that, I hope Canada does make it far. Uh, and obviously, uh, the farther they make it, the more coverage will be put out. Uh, and I do want to see both the Americans and the Canadians do well and hopefully meet in the gold medal game uh, as it would make for a very good storytelling ending. Uh, and with that, uh, I've made it this far in the video. Thank you for watching. If you like to drop a like, if you really like to consider subscribing, tell your friends about it, leave a comment down below your thoughts on Team Canada. Until next time, see ya.